Ah, good morrow, good cousin. You ready for our fight? Yeah. It, uh, what the hell is that? Is that a, is a, man, um, is he a, is that a guy with a gun right there? It looks like it is. Well, can you tell him to get off the damn place? Hey, get off the damn place! <laughs> Boy, hell, cousin, are you okay? Uh, Did the bullet go through? Oh, oh, check me back. Oh. It didn't go through! <laughs> part two we're now going to try part three now historically they the laminar would have never saw these guns or seen these guns in any type of form uh but it would have seen some types of firearms mainly like that of flintlock or matchlock mainly such as like in eastern europe or as well by the time of the samurai period and it's such uh mostly bullets back then they fired a 0.75 caliber bullet or in this case 19 millimeter which is same diameter as a shotgun slug, only fired out of either muskets or rifles. So, just imagine getting shot by that. Would, does that sound like something you want to get shot by? Nope. So yeah, America's te uh, technically, when it comes to firearms, we kind of downgraded for, well, primary assault rifles, especially for 5.56 or 7.62. Now, we're first going to go from 22 and 22 long rifle and such, up until we can get to the shotguns. Now. This is probably going to be very horrifying for a lot of us. Shall we get started, gentlemen? Let's do it. I right, don't put too many holes. Hold up. All right, all right, all right. Did you not hear the three? <laughs> Okay, now let's try with the AR-22, shall we? Okay, now let's try with the AR-22, shall we? Y'all, now how about some uh, 12 gauge birdshot out of the yeah, Winchester? Never fired a 12 gauge before, so let's see what happens. I don't think Birdshot did anything! I don't think so either. <laughs> okay, uh... Now... All of this distorted to dent off, and we got massive shredding all around here. And this thing, oh, I don't know where most of these things went, but up here, I believe, yep, they probably went right through our gambeson. Look at how the bird shot didn't go through. Yeah, the bird it, shot did not go through, but yeah. a slug. The 22s went through. Yeah, here is what the 22 did to this. Now, if none of y'all understand, this is like mild 18-gauge uh, steel, so, however, historically, uh, this, these guns would have never been seen against this thing, so this is devastating. And all of this is just hanging on by chunks of leather, so 
for the slug we're gonna have to ch check up here now. All right, time to fire a Smith & Wesson 9mm, uh, which it fires the 9mm Luger. So let's see what happens. One shell in. Hang on, let me Go fire it off this last one. Alright. Go until it's empty. Now it's empty. Range clear! Oh, uh, so someone definitely shot a little low. Might have been that might have been me. Okay, now we hit low. here. And right One, here. two, three, four. This is bullet pepper. Five. Uh, this is tore in the inside. Dude, one. there might be a bullet right here. I think there's a bullet in here. <laughs> I think we kind of caught some bullets. This oh. one went straight through though. Look at that. And through the other side. So, what do y'all think next? 5.56 five, or slug? The slug's gonna be pretty devastating. So, 5.56. Five, five, yeah, maybe so. Let's keep it this side. This is use the slug on the other side. I'm gonna try and aim for it right here. That might actually work. Let's see what we get out of that. All right, now we're gonna try the Ruger AR uh, firing 5.56, five, five, which to me, this is like a M4 carbine. So, let's see what happens. I could barely even get my sights in. Rapido! Aliba, Aliba, Aliba! I think you got him. Okay, uh, no, I think a couple of ours, because this was new, this is new right here. And it, oh, man. The slow-mo should be closer. Yeah, it, it shows a lot of it. Oh, let's take a look at this. You want some fingers? <laughs> uh, most of my rounds, though, went low, so. Did any of them penetrate through? Oh, yeah. Yeah, some went off the backside. Oh, how about I caught a few out the back side. That's what she said. And also, I just noticed something. Some of our plates actually look like they flew outward. Leave them out the back side. You should have some bullets inside there. I, I know, there definitely is some inside here. I just can't find them. Well, I think I found some of the pieces that actually did fall off. 
This is this horrifying. Oh, viewers, if you can see this, this is this pure destruction with this thing. <laughs> okay, slug out of a 12 gauge. Let's see what happens. Let's go over a bite. Holy shit, that fucking car in the morning. I don't know either. You're gonna aim it. I'm kinda worried it might have gone right through our guy. Oh, Let me see what that did. I think it went through, dude. That one hit for sure. I see a hole literally right there. Okay. Oh, look at that hole from the slug. Oh. Okay, uh, y'all. Oh, dang. Okay, y'all. Here is where we got both our shots. Uh, and they went out the other side. It went through. It, it went out the front. <laughs> Yo, slugs are no joke. Slugs oh, okay. are no joke. Look at the hole back here. Oh. And look at this. Right here, look from this side. That will wreck yeah. someone's day. Okay, we have got to put this guy out of his misery. Maybe that's a lot of help. Wow. We just like the armor is. Of the... I know. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, y'all, uh, I really wouldn't want to wear this anytime soon. No, not too effective, is it? I think you died, cousin. I think so. I think you'd have more metal in you from the armor than the bullets. <laughs> exactly. This does turn into shrapnel. In fact, the only time I ever hear some like shrapnel going into someone that's caused by bullets is mainly from that of British firearms or that have fired from historical uh, flintlock bullets, which are lead and turned into shrapnel into your body. So just imagine on this being like that back then, only this is a lot worse. And our slug did a lot more damage, but we technically just tore this up with the 556. Let's go! Mm -hmm.